Hi YouTube, I'm Zombie. Um, this is my other channel, my diary channel. Um, I'd like to apologize for the last video. I kind of went wacko because that's how I felt at the time, and yeah, I'm right now I come back from Comic Cosy, and I actually met my good cosplay friends. <laughs> I've missed them so much. Missing them right now. Because I haven't seen them in such a long time. And I would love to party with them, but... <laughs> it's the transportation issue. And since I'm be I'll be getting my car pretty soon, hopefully that is no longer the issue. I would once again love to hang out with them and party all night long. And I would love to, I don't know, hang out with you guys. Um, I've just been really busy with school and a lot of my commitments. <sighs> I've been talking to a really good friend of mine. And I've told him several times that I no longer know where I belong. Really. I really don't know where I truly belong or where I am. Um, feel at home, at peace. Because. I am basically living two lives. Two li separate lives. I even have two different names. There are two names that people call me. There's my actual name, which I will never reveal on here. As I feel like it will. And there's the name that everyone knows. By now, from here on YouTube, Zabi de Bermo. And I just feel kind of depressed and sad since I did come out from kind of a breakup, but more like a separation. Um, we were not official or anything, we were just a complicated relationship, and I actually wanted it to be more, but, uh, it never worked out. And, um, actually wishing that I had more friends that were like me, who loved the cosplay, and like the D, who are men. Um... I mean, I would love to have friends. That way I could actually meet someone. Like, right now, I am so alone. Um, I have not met anyone. I feel like I... Like, look at me, look at this. Just look at me. All this. I feel like I am very unattractive. Like I am pretty much ugly. And since I'm not really totally out. Um, and I really can't, due to certain circumstances, what I enjoy doing. One of the many things I enjoy doing. Um, I know that I am a nobody, even though I want to be a somebody, but I am just a poser. 
who is a, who wants to be a somebody but is actually a nobody. And then living the two lives is just stressful enough. And then I have school to worry about. And then so many things to worry about. Social life, love life, school life, work life, church life. I am basically a church brat. You know how there's kids or people who are military brats? Well, I'm like that, but like church brat. Whereas as in, um, I know a lot. And I have access to a lot of things. I could go into any place and stuff. But I am not bad. I'm not a bad person. I... I don't know. Like, the real question is, for me, is what kind of person am I? Like, what kind of gay I am? Like, what kind of am I am? So I have no idea. I know there's several types, but I don't know what category I fall into. And then, then there's the issue of, who am I? Who am I really? And then there's the issue of, I have so many talents to give. So many talents. But which one will lead, lead me to great happiness? Which one will lead me to great happiness? I have no idea. And I have no friends, but hopefully I'll change by Christmas. And if not, well, I'm just going to keep myself busy with church work. Because that's one of the things I actually like to do. I'm no longer going to hide the fact that I actually do volunteer most of my time to the church planning things for the church, liturgies, and loads of things. Um, currently, I'm actually teaching confirmation to kids, to teenagers. Um, that's really hard for me, because most of them don't want to be there, and getting really stressed, but I'm trying to get through to these kids. I'm trying to plan things, I'm trying to organize a lot of things, then my social life, I'm trying to keep, maintain that, I really want to go to parties, you know, to, you know, relax myself, and to, you know, be with people who, who are fun, like, my type of fun, because, <laughs> seriously, um, because I just came from this, youth day retreat thing at my parish because I just said I didn't want to go but I had to go because they wanted me to go so I'm like okay I'll go because you know church official here and um I needed to go so I could give them advice on new you know on our next retreat and stuff like that and And so I can, you know, help them on the new retreat, next retreat, advise them on things and stuff. Because apparently I know a lot. Um, so I believe I don't know a lot, but apparently I do because everyone keeps saying, you know a lot. Well, maybe because of my master's in liturgy. I'm a, I'm a master in liturgy now. Well, I've been for since like June. Or whenever I graduated. Because I had to be certified for that. Um, I do miss my friends. Um, to me, church is kind of like work. You know, planning everything is work. But I do love to worship. Uh, I love my spiritual life. Um, the retreat that I was talking about is not in my level. Um, it's not my cup of tea, as I would put it, but it's really helpful for the young people of today. Um, I know I sound old, but I'm actually 20. 
I'm kind of in that group that I'm talking about, but I'm at, you know, a higher level, and I want to experience more. I would rather go to a pilgrimage to Vatican City, or to the Holy Land, you know, to see things and stuff, and, you know, grow in my faith. But, for a retreat, not really my thing. I'd rather go to, you know, talks, or other things like that. Um, if you're just listening into this, um, I just want to let you all know that this is my, my personal diary, so, I just, or, you know, my pers- personal diary, which is, I don't care who cares about this anymore, it's just me letting go. Um, and it's pretty much me telling my friend who I'm sending this video to, um, what I'm going through and what I actually do, because I don't tell anyone what I actually do, because, I don't know, I've grown accustomed to not telling anyone what I do, or where I go, or trying to keep two lives separate. So, I don't really tell anyone about my religious life, unless they ask. That's the key thing, when, if... That's how I get away with it, when I'm saying I don't keep secrets. I say you don't ask. Why don't you ask? Exactly what about the, you know, mm mm-hmm thing. Uh, thing about me being but you know me liking other guys but that's a different story um yeah because I'm sorry I'm trying to keep it straight but I've had friends in high school who've asked me are you gay? And of course I'm like, no, they usually deny it. But if they were to ask me now, I would still deny it. Um, but it depends on who. And if I trust them enough, I will not deny it. Will not deny it at all. But will ask them kindly not to say a word. Kindly not to say a word, because I still need to get larger. Now I might say a word before I get too big. Before I get too big, that will be kind of me lying. So, but I'm not lying because I'm making this video. So the word is out. But I just want to point out that I am Roman Catholic. And I am gay. Do I disagree about a lot of things? Of course. What Roman Catholic doesn't? The church is not that perfect yet. The church will never be perfect. Though it does seem it is. But that's why I say to fight for what is right or to... um, come up with new ideas. As many of you know, um, in Vatican II, who, girls could actually be altar servers from Vatican II. Thanks to Vatican II, a lot of things changed. Women were able to give out communion. And before then, it was only priests or boys. You know, priests could only give out the communion, no laity. And it was only boys who could be on ultra servers. But now it's it could change. The the mind of the church can change. As we've seen through Vatican the Vatican II Council. So, um the world's changing. And as the world changes, the church will change. But it takes time. Everything has its time. We shouldn't expect it right away. 
it does take time, it does take effort and time. Now with the new age in technology and fast information, it might be a little faster, but it does take time. Uh, I think that's all I had to say about today and what I needed to say and let out. I just wish I had more gay friends. No, more gay friends. Because that way I can hang out with them and talk about a lot more things than I can talk about with my straight friends, even my squirrel friends my girlfriends because there are certain things that I don't want to speak to them about because this is not an appropriate topic because I like to keep everything polite and and you know on topic yeah I could had a good um standing with them um I really wish I had a a boyfriend, especially at cons. Um, just because I want him, want them to. Um, I just wish I had a a guy who would accept me as me, you know, a church person, and who would accept me. You know, oh, I am a big nerd who loves anime and Korean dramas and who loves to dress up as a girl at cons only, you know, I love going in drag at cons but I would love I would love either a boyfriend who was um, who was um, a photographer or a cosplayer to cosplay with it, I would love but if he didn't wish to cost weight, then that's his choice. But I do, I would love to, you know, at least have him in a cost, cost weight once. Only once. And after that, I just want to at least wear some cat ears or something. And, but if it's a photographer, it's, he's good. He doesn't need a cost weight. But if he wants a cost weight, that's his choice better but I would really love one but just but not because for the reasons others want one um you know come out to the family no I want one just because I don't want to be alone anymore and just want someone to talk to closely and just hug and sleep a bit and be able to go to their house and sleep over not really my house because no one know, here knows and I would rather be at that place and if I would love probably next year because I'm going I want to transfer out to LME uh, Loyola Marymount College University get a door, uh, probably by myself, because, or get a, an apartment with my good friend, my very close friend, who doesn't mind me being who I am, and I don't mind him being who he is, because I accept everything that he is, even though some, some parts I don't agree with, but I'm cool with it, because it's him, and he's my good friend, and what are friends for? I just like to thank him for being there for me when pretty much nobody was there. I still have that bottle. And next con that you're going to, I want to bring it because I want to make a toast with you, 
or finish that bottle and drink it all up and go party party and maybe get a girl get your girl in so I already had what relationship which I pretty fastly or quickly because I met the other guy the other, cause the other one I was only with him like for about two weeks and I really didn't feel any connection and I found the other guy guy number two who I really loved and he was so he was so perfect He was the... I don't know. I just wanna... just wanna... Find that one person. Hopefully I find that person... This year. Cause it's the age that my other friend found. his love but sometimes they do get on each other's nerves I know that I've actually seen it at a con but I know they that's just like that's how they are hopefully I'm praying that they don't break up or ever <sighs> because they're they're basically my inspiration they're like um people I look up to but since I've, I haven't seen them in such a while and I don't know what's going on anymore that I don't know if I could look up to them anymore but relationship wise that's who I look up to because when I see them, I see almost perfection. Almost what I want. I wish I could have. And to be with someone. But I'm really scared. I'm really scared to um be alone if I don't find anyone by age 25 I don't know what's gonna happen I seriously don't know <laughs> I'm hoping my next Halloween I'll be able to go to West Hollywood with my good friends <sighs> because I've never been to West it's kind of scary. To me, it scares me. I've never been to a club. <sighs> well, on that note, I see it's been 20 minutes already, but I'm sorry for taking this video so long. Uh -huh. But that's because I didn't do one after right right after the video before this one. So thank you for watching. If you're watching my video, but if you're not, thanks. I'll see you next time, my video diary people. And uh, leave a comment if you have a question for me or if you have concern. I will answer anything. But only appropriate comments or questions. So, thank you. Subscribe if you like. And good night, good day, have a good day, have a good night.
whatever time it is, have a good whatever. Alright, adios.